Welcome back to another One Monroe Minute. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at spring plungers and how they work. Spring plungers are mechanical components that consist of a plunger and a spring housed in a cylindrical body. They're designed to apply consistent force or positioning pressure in a controlled and repeatable manner. Spring plungers are used for locking and locating of separate components and use spring force to apply pressure so the ball or nose will remain positioned. Spring plungers are typically made from stainless steel, steel, brass, and nylon, and are available in metric and imperial measurements. Here's how they work. As the contact force puts pressure on the plunger or nose of the spring plunger, it depresses into the body. This forces the internal spring to compress while allowing the contact force to position the nose into the desired notched out area. This use of a spring plunger is to lock something into position. Spring plungers can also be used as a form of cushion between two objects. The spring plunger nose hits one object, and the internal spring is made with a specific tension, so the nose of the spring plunger depresses only to a certain point. They can also be used as support between objects. Spring plungers find applications in manufacturing, assembly, engineering, packaging, and material handling for positioning and indexing. To learn more about spring plungers, be sure to reach out to one of our sales engineers. Thanks for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos in the future, and we'll see you next time with another One Monroe Minute.